This screencast looks at how you can create training materials using Tarsia software. Through the AIMA project, I was involved in running courses in residential care homes in Essex that were for senior care workers and NVQ trainers and assessors who were keen to learn how to support their staff who may have literacy and language needs, often because they were migrant workers and needed some additional support uh, with English. And one of the most popular sessions on the courses that I ran involved demonstrating how you could use Tarsia software to quickly make up some training tasks that were based on a simple matching process, often involving matching keywords to make common phrases or matching numbers to make up a little maths task. And these training tasks were used um, in a range of sessions covering first aid, food hygiene, safeguarding, moving and handling. And the staff that I worked worked with were very keen to learn how to use the software. And in this screencast, I'd like to demonstrate how you get hold of the software and how you can begin to use it. Now, in the supporting migrant workers resource, you will find a web link. And when you click on that link, you will be taken to this web page, Hermitech Laboratory. And the software package you want, if you just scroll down, is this one here, Formulator Tarsia Installation Package. And if you just click on this green icon, that will download the software onto your PC or laptop. And then once you have installed the software, you'll find an, I an icon on your desktop. Now, if we just click on that, we'll see what happens when we open up the software. You'll see there's a little panel here, first of all, giving you some tips. We'll just close that down. We don't need to see that at this stage. But this is a more interesting panel. This one gives us an overview. Of the, in, on the left hand side here, we can see all the different formats, different puzzle formats we can use. Now, in this short screencast, I'm just going to show you how we can make up a little jigsaw task. but. I'll leave you to explore these other puzzle formats. So to make up a little uh, triangular jigsaw puzzle, we'll just click here and then click on OK. And this is the first screen that we see. Looks quite off-putting all these icons here, but um, there's no need to kind of worry about those. This software was originally used to make up maths tasks at, uh, at quite a high level but we can use it quite quickly and easily to make up some tasks at a much more basic level. Now the interesting part of the Tarsia screen is this bottom set of tabs here. You'll see that there are five, but at this stage we need only be concerned with four of them. Now in the best Blue Peter fashion, the easiest way for me to show you what each of these tabs does is to open up a puzzle I made earlier. So. If I just do that, I'm just going to click on open. And this task I'm going to look at now looks at, it's a word matching activity we used for some migrant workers who wanted to practice their knowledge of um, words for common household items. Now you'll see here that we have clicked on the table tab, which shows us a table full of the words that make up the puzzle. So tin opener, dishwasher, vacuum cleaner. Now, if we click on solution, you can see the finished puzzle here. And you can see that the puzzle consists of triangular pieces of uh, paper or card uh, in a triangular shape. And they need to be matched. Each triangle has one, two or three words on it. And you need to match those triangles so that they're to make the names of household items, as you saw earlier. Items like tin opener, dishwasher, air freshener. Now you can see that the first word in every pair is in orange and the second word is in blue. I find adding a kind of colour coding to the puzzle makes them more interesting and uh, easier for um, staff to complete. I'll show you how to do that later. So that's the solution tab. Output 
when we click on that tab, it shows us the, the two A4 sheets on which we find the life-size triangles that make up the puzzle. Now, when you ins when you construct, when you create a puzzle, you'll put these pairs of words obviously in, in the right order. But as you put them in, the software distributes those words at random around the edges of these triangles uh, to make uh, a matching task. So that's the uh, that's the output tab. Then if we look at input, it's on this input screen that we obviously can begin to input our words to create the puzzle. Now I'm just going to close down this completed task. I won't save the changes. And that takes us back to the empty input screen that we're going to use just to begin to create a new puzzle. What I'd like to do is just to begin to recreate the task you've just seen. So one of the pairs of uh, one of the items was dustbin. So we'll just put that first word in there. You just need to kind of click in the box and type. So dust has got to be matched with bin. Now you may like to change the font style, in which case you highlight the word, go to style, other, and then you've got a list of fonts here to choose from. So we will go probably for a more friendly font style like Comic Sans. And just before we click on OK, I'll just show, the, show you that it's on this panel that we can change the color. So we can change the font and the color on this panel. So if we click on OK, you'll see that we've got, we'll change the font and the color there. So with bin, if we just change that to green, if we go to style, other, you'll see it retains the font setting, but we just need to change the color to green. Click on OK. OK. So we've now got We've now entered our first pair of words. And if we look over on the right hand side, you could see how we navigate so that we can enter our second set. We just, you could see the lists um, of numbers here, which indicate the, uh, the particular pair of words we're looking at. So if we click on two, we've got an opportunity to put in our second pair of words. So we'll put in vacuum cleaner. Now you'll notice that this software retains the, both the font setting and the color. So you may want to decide whether you want to change the color of each pair as you work through or do that at the end. So again, if we want to add another pair, we just click on three there and put in um, arm chair. Okay, we'll just change that to green. There. Okay. So we've now got um, now entered our first three pairs of words. Now, if we click on table, we can see at a glance the uh, pairs that we've put in at. Looking at the table format is very useful to give you an overview of what you've put in. You may want to make sure that you don't um, put in words that can be double matched. You can either scroll down like that, or if you click on um, the zoom function here, oops, was it view here? You have to click on zoom, and then you can um, see more of the screen. There. Okay, so you can see at a glance how much of the puzzle you've already created. If we look at output, let's come back, so we'll come back 90%, you'll see that we have um, the software's begun to distribute our words at random around the around the, the triangles. In the uh, on the output tab, you could see that you've got the option of creating a puzzle in a much larger size. If you were to click on this tab it puts the same words into a much larger size puzzle. So on each A4 sheet, you would just get three triangles, which would make a much bigger puzzle format. But I find it useful um, just to stay with the normal size. And then if we click on the solution, 
tab there you can see that uh, on this screen we can see the, the solution or the the, um, the words that we have put in are correctly matched dustbin, vacuum cleaner and armchair. So that's a quick um, demonstration of how to get hold of the software and how to begin to use it to create some basic matching tasks. As I said earlier, I've used it a lot in uh, uh, a range of courses really to add to create uh, some active learning tasks that can be used to develop um, vocabulary and number skills at a range of levels from kind of very, very basic up to quite high level. I hope that's been helpful.